Hello everyone and welcome back to Server Gyan. Within this video, we are going to learn that how to start a container with a shell. It means that either we can get a shell within a container if, when this is running or we can start a container with a shell when we are going to execute it or when we are going to start a container with the help of an image. So let us see this th that how does this thing happen. For example, I'm going to run a command docker run. As we know that docker run is a com uh, like a combination of two commands docker create and docker start. Then after we will execute with this container with hyphen it option. Then after I'm going to run a command alpine. Then after I will run a command bash. Okay, so as soon as I will run this command, so this will give me an error that currently this program is not available. This path is not found. The executed file not found in the dollar path. So what I need to do here is I need to run SH here, SH here. And if I run SH, so that is available. Reason being, now what I can do here is yum install bash. Yum is not available. So it means apt, comma, APT program will be found here. And with the help of apt, I can install or apt hyphen get uh, should be available here. In fact, apt is also not available. So that totally depends on the particular type of program uh, which is available here. So I can run multiple commands here etc. And maybe I want to check password file so I can check here. Then after whatever I want, I can run. Maybe I want ping. Then after I want uh, fb.com. So I can ping fb.com from this uh, within from within this container. If I want to declare any variable, maybe uh, uh, whatever I want, maybe uh, test equal to four. I can echo dollar test here, or whatever I want, I can do within this container because I have got this shell. So this is how we can start a container with a shell. And keep this thing in mind, you can do anything, you can perform any operation, maybe you, if you want to print uh, slash temp, then after you want to print, you want to go to slash and after that you want to read any file, maybe you can read uh, shadow file, uh, okay, cat slash etc, shadow, you want to read all the cells. So whatever you want, you can perform here. As I was telling you that best version of best, best is not available by default within Alpine. So you can run uh, slash bin slash sh and you can bin run slash bin slash ash. So these are the shell which are available within this uh, Alpine image by default. Because the size of this image is quite small. Maybe this is of 3 to 4 MB only. So that is why we prefer to run this. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good time. See you in the next video. Thank you.